journey ended here at Port Allen, Louisiana, and it is day three of racing, day four of the event. First off, I want to give a huge shout out to my little brother Madison, who sent a very generous donation to us to get us through the rest of the week. And my other little brother from another mother, Derek Robinson, um, he sent us also a donation uh, to help us through our program. So shout out to you guys. We appreciate all your support. Today, we are going to try to take it easy again. Hopefully, just make one more pass and be on the road to Monroe tomorrow. We will stay the night again here tonight. Um, got a couple of changes we need to make to the suspension. We've got a bolt that's backing out on the shop that we're going to have to lock tight down. And we'll fix that when we get back to the shop this week uh, permanently. But for now, we're just going to kind of do what we do best and try to leave as easy as possible, keep it all together, and make a good solid A to B pass, pack it up, and uh, hang out for the rest of the day and watch the other racers. So anyway, we're about to swap the wheels over, put the slicks and skinnies back on this thing, and then we're going to get in the, rain, the lanes for the 11 class and see how we do today. Once again, guys, appreciate the donations. It was definitely not expected. You guys have all stepped up and helped us out. Um, don't know what to say other than we appreciate it. So this one's for you guys. All right, we are just waiting on our class to get called. We missed round one because your boy slept in a little bit. And by sleep in, I mean like 7.20. Um, the lane's been hot at like 10 o'clock. No, no, sorry, 8 o'clock. But we didn't make it. So we just got the car prepped. Um, we're only on about an E68 blend right now because we couldn't get good E last night. The E was like 60 something from the gas station. And we topped it off with uh, some E85 that we got from um, Zach and Bobby. So we're on a little under 70, so we're, it's not gonna perform as well as it did. You're probably gonna expect the trap speed to drop a little bit and just to go probably a little slower time. But we did make some adjustments to the shocks in the rear. Uh, been kind of researching that a little bit. We're gonna play with it. We made one adjustment to it to see if it makes any difference. We're gonna to try to, to let the rear end squat, even though this car, when it squats, the toe changes, the camber changes. Um, but we're trying to keep the back end planted instead of bouncing. You saw in the last video, you can see that the car just hops down the track. So we're trying to eliminate that. Um, and who knows, maybe maybe we can stick it and cut a better 60 foot and then not spend so much going into second and not spend going into third. And the track speed won't matter because we will have uh, a little bit better um, traction. So we're gonna see what happens and we'll try it again. And hopefully we're at another one and done and we can move on to the next round. So we'll let you know how it goes. Pretty interesting costume. Of course that's Bender. Is it Rod Bender? <laughs> so to get the the wheels off because you know they just kind of tuck up, they have to disconnect the shocks and the coilover completely, drop the whole rear axle down, then remove the wheels and tires, and then bolt these big ass all terrains to the back. You know, just for this seven second thousand mile driven streetcar. No big deal.
done at the track. Yeah. And we're about to go to dinner. Go to dinner. Go to get us some sushi. Try, try it anyway. Yeah, try to get some dinner. Or just make some noises. So, yeah, we're done at the track. We, uh, Yeah, so much for dinner. Uh, we're, still having that. we're still having it, but we were like, "Why does the exhaust keep banging on everything?" We thought maybe it was because we took the compression out of the shocks. Nope, that's the problem. It, it broke off the mount. You can't really see under here because the angle of the dangle and the the, uh, the the sun in my eye. But I'm trying to get on it. Anyways, that broke. That broke off. It broke it. So, got a little floppy down here. Just hanging on for dear life with one bolt in another mount that's probably stressed the fuck out. Uh, so we're gonna rig up a uh, bungee cord <laughs> with some red rags on it so it doesn't burn it. And we're gonna put it around the factory exhaust hanger. Ow. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, brother. So anyways, I'm gonna help him do this real quick. Yeah. It's almost perfect. Yeah. We don't even need to fix it when we get home. Yeah, we do. <laughs> That's a make well job at the shop. Boom. And then in the back. And we got a little little less flop. A little more firm. It's time to go eat some sushi, baby. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. I'll burn. found roads that are uh, worse than Shreveport. Uh, congratulations, Baton Rouge. We passed the torch to you. <laughs> 